Juicy get, goss. Get, get juicy. Hot yeah. off the press is about Spencer Tracy, Catherine Hepburn. Great A gossip from Dia Davidson. Yeah, well, Dia and I care about that stuff, but. You do. Well, and why you, is that? None of you kids do. You're still wearing eyeliner, so hush it up. <laughs> I, I te yes, I am. You are, and, and it's I good. And I tried to get it off. I, I have, I, I, I've never washed my face this much in an entire calendar year. Have you year. ever really washed your face? Not really. Most men, you Not just really. slap some water there, and you're well, good. Well, there, there's water coming on my face during the shower. I don't really need to get in there and do anything. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But this time I did. And I and I used the makeup wipes. You gave me mm -hmm. one or two. Mm -hmm. Got home. Got makeup wipes from my wife. Nothing. Yeah. Can't well, get I, it off. It's fine. You just look awake. It's good. Yeah. You look good. Uh, so in case you don't know what we're talking about, go to our Facebook page and you'll see what Lee had to dress up as yesterday. Um, you looked good. You look good today. I paid my bet. You did. Uh, the debt is paid. So what are we going to do if Kentucky and Tennessee meet on Saturday? I know it's too soon. I can't. We can't come up with any more bets. People keep asking me this. They're like, now what are you going to do for the SEC tournament? Well, we got to do something. We're going to have to get tattoos. Well, okay. All right. Deal. <laughs> no, we're not. I don't know. <laughs> I think an easy one would be we have to paint our whole face blue or paint our whole face orange. For Monday when we come back. You're, you'll still have eyeliner on by then. No. Who cares? What's a little extra paint? I don't know. That just seems so. I, I think we need to take it out. It needs to be different. We need to it, maybe do something. Yeah. Somebody has to do something for the other person. Oh, okay. You know? Like? I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. We'll work on it. If you have ideas, of course, you can always submit them uh, to our Facebook page. Now, on the show today, one of our favorite places over in Georgetown, we, we found this couple, what was it, a few months ago? Had such a great time with them. Mm -hmm. Slancha, public house. Slancha. in Irish means? I think cheers. Is that right? No. No. It means, means kill them. No, it doesn't. They told us what it means. I want to say they said it means cheers, <laughs> but... No, it, it, I think it does mean cheers. It I does think it? you're right. I think you're right. Slancha. Anyway, I'm they're in sure Georgetown. The owners, they're this awesome, sweet couple. We had so much fun. We went out to see them and see their whole um, bar there and everything and just the whole vibe. Which it's was awesome. an old house that they've uh, converted. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Also, and so, but they're here today and they're going to show us some brews and teach us some Irish stuff. So. Yes, they will. It's going to be good. And in uh, Saul Good is the half off dining deal today. So, you know, good luck trying to get one of those because that will go fast. But everybody has an opportunity beginning at 1 o'clock. Yes. Unless you're in Louisville, dial or dial. That's how old I am. Call Lee's phone number <laughs> that I'm going to post <laughs> hey, on Facebook. Get, speak, speaking of which, let me show you something. Look at this thing. I got this yesterday. A parking ticket? It's a parking ticket. You fool! Yeah, it was your fault. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. How was it? Well, because you, I, I had a 30-minute time line there, and, mm -hmm. and you, you drug your heels. And so I, I was seven minutes late. It was, I was seven minutes late. You and Cody, it was you and Cody. No one knows who Cody is. You got to let the viewers in. He's a photographer. Everybody knows who Cody is. You don't. Anyway, uh, so I, all I want to say is I, I, I'm guilty and, and, I, and I want to pay it. I want to pay it and I can't pay it because your system stinks. I've tried every which way, online, and, and I, they, they don't recognize it. They don't, you got to get this fixed. What are you talking about? I try to pay. You can pay online, but they won't let me pay online. They just, it kicks me out every time I try to pay. And I'm aggravated because I don't want to be a customer, but I am a customer. You've made me a customer, but your service stinks. No, you made yourself a customer when you parked in a visitor 30-minute spot knowing our shoot would take more than an hour. No, ma'am. Have we ever done a shoot that takes less than 30 minutes? Listen, lady, we were, I was seven minutes late. It says here on the ticket, seven minutes. That's you gabbing and Cody being Cody. Okay. Your level of rage does Merits. not equal the problem. Yes, it does. Okay? It is $15. I'll pay it, okay? For you, even though will you, I didn't do anything will you wrong. Pay it? Yeah, out of your wallet. Uh huh. That's what which I thought. Which I already okay. took earlier because I have other expenses. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a couple of jams. I, I don't know. I, I think I make a good case for a guy wearing eyeliner. All right. Are you ready to do the. Uh, or do you you better anything? pay this because it doubles in 10 days. So good yeah, luck. I'm you. trying to pay it. I guarantee. That's what I'm telling you. I guarantee you. I'll pay it. I'll go. Have you, you tried it try. anywhere but your phone? It doesn't matter. Go to the desktop and do it. I don't want to go to the desktop. You do it at the desktop. Now we can't read the UPC code or whatever it is. You wrinkle it up. 
All right. Uh, you, are you? Is there any other news that we need to know about? I don't think your heart could take it at this point. <laughs> All right. Roll the hot top. Here we go. Here we go. Hot fire. <laughs> Topic. So a birthday present from two Florida men to their dad has sparked interest around the world. Chris Ferry says he and his brother couldn't decide what to get their dad for a 62nd birthday. Well, their dad lives in Jersey. Oh, no. His birthday's March 16th. Oh, no. Ferry says he called his brother with the idea to put a billboard outside Atlantic City with their dad's phone number on it. Oh, no. It says, wish my dad a happy birthday. Look at all these messages. It was his real number. No. It went up on Thursday morning. Dad says that he has gotten <laughs> Non-stop text messages since then. 15,000 calls. I love this. Text and Facebook hits within the last three days. I love this. This is hysterical. Oh, that's a great idea. But he's going to have to change his phone number. Yeah, maybe they'll leave him alone after a while. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. That though. is a good idea. I love idea. that story. Uh, well, more than 7 million people across the country have seen a viral video out of a Laverne Guinea. Laverne. Is Laverne, Laverne High I said School. it right, okay. Uh, there in Tennessee. A few students bought shoes and clothes for a fellow student going through a tough time and surprised him during class. The freshman, oh. AZ Robinson, said he was going through emotional issues. And classmates say Robinson is kind to everyone, always lifting people's spirits. They noticed he wasn't being himself. So to cheer him up, classmates surprised him with new shoes and clothes during biology class. Oh, look at him in tears. Good kids. That is awesome. I love that. And fresh, I mean, that's just such a hard age. I was just having this conversation earlier this week. That middle school, early into high school, I feel like is the hardest age for everyone. It was for me. It's just difficult. You're trying to figure stuff out. You're hormonal. You're weird. Hmm. Not for me. This age what? is hormonal and difficult. You're going through the change. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Those hot flashes, yeah. they will pass. Right. Okay. It's, it's either the air's on or it's not on. Yeah. You'll be all right. I'm working through it. You are. You are a vision. With your prayers. That's right. <laughs> a Texas woman caught on video. She uh, caught on video a horse that someone had just riding in the back of their pickup truck. No. No. Don't no. do this. This is horrific. A witness says the driver seemed to be going about 70 miles an hour down the highway. Another what? witness says the horse seemed to be enjoying the ride. Not really. No, how he's can you tied. tell? Look at him. He's what in that makes you think he's enjoying the ride? He's terrified. According to Texas police, the man wasn't doing anything illegal. The driver what? told off. Who That's knows? Not? The driver said he was on his way to the stockyards. He says his truck that what? pulls the trailer wouldn't start. So we just loaded the horse in the truck bed. Thankfully, the horse did make it safely to the stockyards and was not injured. So that's good. But um, Large animals don't have to be in some sort of enclosed vehicle, like a trailer? I don't know that much about it. I don't either. But I'm shocked to see this. I'm just glad the horse is okay. Jeez. Oh. Uh, during last night's episode on NBC's The Voice, a Chicago area singer, Denton Arnell, landed a spot on John Legend's team. Well, moments later, Arnell invited his girlfriend, Tiffany, to the stage to propose. After accidentally headbutting Tiffany, he oh. asked her to marry him as a consolation. And she said, yep. Here's a clip from last night. Take a look. Being that you gave me a yes, yeah. I want to see if uh, oh, oh, Tiffany oh, oh, can oh, give me a yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. A headbutt before oh, in a proposal. Nothing says love. Yeah. Like a like a big old <laughs> knot there on your forehead. Yeah. An Ohio man says he's giving up everything for Lent, but beer. Mm -hmm. Del Hall plans to drink beer for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 46 days. He says he's going to have no solid foods until Easter. What? Hall says he knows people think this is crazy. Yeah. He says he wants to see if he can prove to himself if it's possible. <laughs> uh, okay. He says he's going to track his own health, <laughs> Okay. but he will be checking in with the doctor. So he's taking this to the extreme. Most of us, you know, you give up one thing. He's giving it all up except for this. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? 
Yeah, I, I wonder what the results will be. I, it's not a healthy way to go about anything, but I wonder if he'll lose weight. It is a yeah. liquid diet, but it's also liquid bread, and the way they, they, it's what they call it, right? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, beer's liquid bread. Who says that? I have people say it. <laughs> they say it, Jesse. I you don't know. What know. I'm talking about. I, yeah, know I don't because know. It, it has so m many calories. It's right. just like bread. But think, if you're doing a light, it, it, it a yeast you'd product, have to drink a lot to get to a calorie threshold that I feel like. You know, would replace your meals. I just know people gain a lot of weight. Beer drinkers, why did we call yeah. it beer belly? Yeah, beer gut. Sure. Because they're doing it on top of like eating though, usually. True, true. So if, but if he's just drinking, let's hope maybe, you know, a light beer. <laughs> mm. All right, we'll see. Well, the last surviving daughter of legendary baseball great Babe Ruth has died. Julia Ruth Stevens passed away Saturday at an assisted living facility in Nevada. Suffered a short illness, was 102 years old. I didn't know Babe Ruth still had any kids. Yeah. Because, good Lord, he was playing in the 30s. You know, Major League Baseball's original home run king. He played in the pros for 22 years, mostly for the Yankees. One of the first five members inducted into Baseball Hall of Fame. He was inducted in 1936, and his daughter just died? Yes. That's a long Longevity. life. Longevity. That's, That's very wow. long. That's crazy. How about that. 102 years. All right, those are today's hot topics. Straight ahead, all the way from Jorge Town, mm. Schlante Public House. It's Slancha. Oh, We're sorry. getting into the St. Patrick's Day <laughs> spirit with some Irish brews. That's next on Live with Lee and Haley. We'll be right back.